China is conducting experiments in space. We recently launched Wen Tian, the nation's largest and heaviest spacecraft ever. It's more spacious, making the space station more reliable, and above all, more fun. So let's dig into the craft's lab module and imagine the day aboard Wen Tian. Hello and welcome to this episode of Tech Please. This is Chen Chen from Beijing. So Wen Tian, which means Quest for the Heavens, is the first lab module launched to China's space station and also a key component in its T-shaped superstructure. It will mainly be used for conducting life science experiments in search for the origins of life. The 17.9 meter long and 4.2 meter wide lab module houses various of functions for techonauts, including a kitchen, a sleep, their sleeping quarters, space access, and of course, their workspace and living area, or I would call it the game room. Yes, you heard that right. I mean, how much entertainment can you imagine having up there? Being aboard Wen Tian is just like working from home, but only if your apartment is 400 kilometers above the Earth. You just rise and shine and get to work in orbit. How cool is that? Now, back to the metrics. The Wen Tian lab module has three sleeping bunks, a toilet, and a kitchen. And together with the cabins inside the Tianhe core module, China's space station can house six astronauts at the same time. All right, now that you've finished grooming and maybe some exercise, it's time for work. There are over 1,000 experiments designed to take place aboard Wen Tian, and eight experimental cabinets have been delicately assembled inside the lab module. And of course, there are also standard interfaces outside the lab module. And before Wen Tian arrives, the only, the most entertaining activity, I guess, would be um, other than tossing your water back to your crewmate, would be riding on a stationary bike, and you know, it's like doing a solo RPM in space. It's good for your body, but it's not that fun, right? But now with all the experiments on tap, the Shenzhou 14 crew of Chen Dong, Liu Yang, and Cai Xuzhe, they're gonna have so much fun. They will grow plants, they will grow flowers, and they will even keep a pet fish. Wow. Well, um, not really, um, but they do, they will witness the growth of a fish because everything's gonna be inside the cabinets, um, the experimental cabinets, and they are carried out automatically and can be controlled remotely by the ground team. So it's like, everything's super easy, barely an inconvenience. They were obviously so excited when they saw Winton's interior for the first time. It was like, they can't wait to get in there and look around and touch everything. Well, they do have to pull onto those handles to get into that position for the signature salute. Now you may ask, how will they move the cabinets needed for external experiments outside the module? Well, there are two things you need to know. First, you need to exit the space station, fully protected, of course. Prior to Wen Tian's arrival, the Taikonauts could only exit through Tianhe's node cabin. But with Wen Tian, they'll have more space to get changed. It's like an official upgrade to a walk-in foyer with a dedicated airlock. And I would say a more professional airlock cabin, which now functions as the main entry exit point for EVAs. And as for the one um, at Tianhe's node cabin, now becomes backup option. Next is Cosmic Catch. And goddamn love you. Sorry, that's just a fan of me. So Wen Tian features a small robotic arm that will assist Taikonet's spacewalks. It can maneuver three tons of payload. Not as much as the big arm, but more flexible and precise. It can travel over to the module's external interfaces like an Iron Man arm for China Space Station. In this way, our Taikonet can stay safe and contribute to more technical assignments. Last but not least, Wen Tian also serves as a backup for Tianhe's critical functions, such as communication, data handling, attitude control, and life support. This will ensure the station's safety for at least 10 years. After Wen Tian comes the Meng Tian, another lab module set for lunch and docking with Tianhe in October, completing China's space station by then. As China's space station is set to host more astronauts and scientists, 
to promote for international collaboration in the future. I sincerely hope that our techonauts can safeguard our space station so that we can explore the space together. Okay, that's a lot to chew on for a day aboard Wen Tian. Now, of course, Rome wasn't built in one day, and neither was China's space station. It's the result of generations of combined effort. We'll continue to dive deeper into China's space exploits in the future episode of Tech Please. This is Chen Chen. See you next time.